Hey guys, you are now watching Crafty Friday on So Craftastic. I'm about to show you how to turn some ordinary crayons into a colorful candle. This is a great project for the fall time, especially if you use coordinating colors and scents. If you love crayons, then be sure to like this video. Now, without further ado, let's fall into the craft. Do you see what I did there? To make a crayon candle, you'll want to have the following supplies. Dixie cups, some sort of clear wax, double-sided adhesive, candle wicks, a glass candle holder, some toothpicks, a scent if you so choose, and of course, your favorite colors of crayons. Start off by attaching the wick to the inside of the glass container with your adhesive. Now grab your favorite crayons and start to peel the paper off of them. Once they're stripped of their paper, it's time to break them into small pieces. Each color is going to get its own Dixie cup. You'll also want to fill the rest of each cup with some clear wax. If you have a scented wax cube, you should put that in as well. Take one of your filled cups and place it in the microwave. I'm putting mine in for about 2 minutes and 20 seconds. Carefully take the cup out of the microwave if it looks like the wax is melted. Now stir your wax mixture with a toothpick or a popsicle stick. Let your wax cool off a little bit and then pour it into the candle holder. When using multiple colors, let the wax dry completely between layers. Making more than one candle at once is a great idea for any of you who are impatient because you'll probably end up waiting 15 to 30 minutes between pours. That can get super boring. Prepare each cup of wax the exact same way and let each layer cool off before moving on to the next. On to the next one. Once all your colors are poured, as you can see, you will have an awesome candle. So pretty. These guys are great for home decor. They'll look fabulous in your living room or bedroom or wherever the heck you want to put it. Oh, and also check out my heart crayon video if you want to learn how to make your own heart-shaped crayons. I have a video on how to do that. Remember, if you make this, to use hashtag SoCraftastic on Instagram so I can see your lovely candle. Oh my gosh, it looks so cool when it's lit. So we're just going to watch this burn for a little bit and watch the flames sway in the non-existent wind. I'm probably waving my hand here to try and not have the smoke alarm go off. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please subscribe to this channel if you haven't already because I put out new awesome videos every single Friday for Crafty Friday. In the last video, I showed you guys how to make beautiful duct tape rose pens. So be sure to check out that video if you haven't already. And let's check out the pictures that people sent to me. Hashtag so craftastic on Instagram and also on Twitter and Facebook. Here's a bunch of pretty roses in different designs and colors. I definitely love your guys' flower pens. Thank you guys so much for sending those pictures in to me. If you would like a chance to be featured in an upcoming Crafty Friday video, then check out my information. And I think that was right in front of my face, but you know, it, it might not be. You just might see your crayon candle in next week's Crafty Friday video. I hope you have a great rest of the day, and I will see you soon. Bye. I'm so far away. I kind of want to crawl through here now that I've cleaned it off. I don't think that's a good idea. And I'm up here. This would be so uncomfortable to film like this. My elbows hurt so bad. All right, that's enough. <laughs> so we're out. Oh, that's not graceful at all. All right.